All right, it's gonna get started on the big tinny. Uh, first thing I do, um, where I'm gonna get in and out the boat, I cover it up, just stop my dirty paw prints going on the same spot every time. Protects the customer's boat. So first off is uh, I'm gonna strip out the vital points so get the batteries out, so any loose items, but we'll make sure the boat is isolated. Batteries out, fuel tanks out if they're, if they're removable. Uh, and then we're just gonna start stripping the boat. So it's floor, seats, as uh, this this uh, boat's got a whole lot to do to it. So um, let's get into it. Radio. Batteries are out, fuel tanks are out, although well, kind of wishing they weren't half full because uh, Brian's got to lift them down, but that's all right. Lesson for the future is to have something in case I need to decant a fuel. And uh, now it's, a, it's the floor. Let's get into ripping this floor out. The seats have got to come out. Uh, they're getting cut out and there's a full uh, rear deck and splash wheel going in there. Uh, front, the old front port seat's coming out. Uh, it's getting cut out with another bulkhead going in, in there. Um, so we can still put fuel, extra fuel tank storage as required, but there is an underfloor tank going in. And the console is getting shifted back, virtually the, the width of the console with a seat back here and a couple of pedestals up the front. So uh, let's rip some floor out. Floors up, which always exposes a few secrets of a boat, but um, this one's pretty good. It's just a bit of dust, but there's no uh, there's no grime and cracks and nasty looking things under the floor. So um, happy days. We'll keep going. All right, so we're a few hours in. Uh, front seat has now been removed. Uh, the short casting deck framework remains. Uh, the rear thwart seat is gone. Front thwart seat is gone. So now we'll get everything tidied up, pull all the fo foam out of the floor so we can figure out where our fuel tank's gonna live and, uh, and what bracing we need to put in for the center console to, to move back like about a meter and uh, and that's going to allow the front of the boat to be big enough to roll the swag out is the is the ideal uh, scenario that's the plan for the owner um, and we'll get him back on the water so we'll keep going here but starting to make a mess which is good it means we're making progress but we're early days Alrighty, so we've got our fuel tank in. We've actually we've we've cut a cut a centre out of the gussets. We've replaced that with some uh, further ribbing underneath the tank, so the tank sits on there nice and snug onto a couple of um, heavy rubber plank as well. So that that's just uh, in its nice cradle. Uh, some further gussets back there just to give back the strength that in case we've taken any away. So now we've got a couple of uh, seat gussets going here, some spigot seats going here. So we're going to reinforce this area here because there'll be, say, a couple of uh, pedestal seats sitting here. Uh, that's today's job. We'll get into that one and uh, and finish setting up the, the breathers for the fuel tank at the back of the boat. We'll get into it.
All right, we're just putting some extra supports in. This is the casting platform, small, more for storage, but still very utilized as a casting platform. So it will be stomped on, um, you know, just getting to the anchor and things of like that. So we, we put a little bit more bracing in here and uh, a couple of extra welds just to avoid any uh, vibration that may, that may appear. And, uh, and we're just gonna weld up some redundant holes to tidy it up and sand them off. So uh, we're getting there. All right, from this side of view, so we've we've added this bracing along here, got a few welds in place. This is all a heap of redundant holes, so we'll sand them up so that they're all nicely finished. Uh, I've also added a couple of holes, which just helps drainage, say this here being a full gusset. There's nowhere for the water to run if you're washing down up there. You're sort of relying on it coming between the ribs, and it can take a long time, so it's nice to have a few extra holes. Same with up the sides here. I'm actually going to run a fuel line up through there uh, because factory uh, there is a gap between the gussets so you can run wiring and things but uh, when there's not it's actually nice while you're here just to put an extra hole or two around and that way if I come back to this boat or somebody else running wires uh, it's nice to uh, get in there and already already find that there's a hole there to run your wire and keep the boat tidy so uh, we'll get this cleaned up and, and move on to some flooring Alrighty, so we have now done uh, the flotation foam under the floor. So we've gone from the console to the front bulkhead with the flotation foam. And then I've also done uh, the flooring boards, not painted or carpeted yet, from the console to the bulkhead. Uh, probably the reason I've really jumped ahead and done these boards is so as I've got somewhere to walk around in here uh, just while I'm, I'm working here without the, the uneasiness under the foot. Uh, so we're going to do the casting deck storage area, flooring there, uh, the flooring inside uh, the storage, and, um, and then we'll move towards the stern of the boat. So let's get going. Alrighty, so we've done a little bit of subfloor reinforcing because that's where the old seat was across there. So we've taken that strength away from the boat. So we're replacing strength forward to back. This is a bit of a high traffic area. Um, so we're gonna have the console and then the seat base. And you could have a center console with two or three guys hanging off it. So one lot of support there for that console that's gonna bolt down to those. Uh, and then we've got the, the rear deck going in later. So that'll add strength back onto the boat there as well. So we're gonna uh, get some foaming in and, and sort out where our console is gonna go so we can get the floor set up and uh, move forward a little bit further. All right, so we've got our floor is, uh, everything's cut out, everything's ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is uh, take this, take all the floor out, paint it with a couple of coats of weather shield to really seal the timber, and then we'll carpet it and fit it back in. In the meantime, after we're painting, we'll get some bilge pumps set up so uh here we go So we've got the front half of the carpet is in, the flooring is in, uh, the storage casting deck done as well. We've got our storage lockers for our, our tackle boxes are in, uh, the seat pedals has arrived so the bases are in for there um, and I'll set the seats up with those. So next step we are going to move to the back, uh, bilge pump is also wired in under the floor. We're going to move to the back and do the back, set up the back bilge and uh, put the flooring in, set the batteries up. Uh, getting there, getting there.
So the big tinny is looking really good. We've got our pedestal seats in. Uh, we've been in and attacked the wiring in the console, really tidied that up. Got a lot of a lot of got rid of a lot of redundant wiring. Uh, drink holders are in around the side decks, very handy uh, for the sportsman. Uh, so all flooring, fuel tanks, uh, fuel storage is in here. We've got say there's a spare fuel tank in here. Um, there's the uh, fuel hoses already plumbed up for there. So you've just got to tap at the back so you can choose to go off your main tank or if you're going camping, um, you can put those tanks in and just plug them into to either tank that you're after, um, giving you twice the range almost. Uh, what else we got? The lights are all good. Um, so what we've got left anyway, we're going to take a break on this one for just over the Christmas so we can get this boat on the water. Uh, give it some tests as well so we might reprop it in the new year so we've got next year uh, anchor well uh, hatch as such and this rear splash well going in for the uh, engine area and uh, maybe some other goodies that we come up in the meantime so that's her for now we'll um, be on the water on Saturday morning and, and give it a run and uh, take some numbers and see how we go cheers guys talk soon